Hi again everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I care for my health and fitness. So I'm going to share with you my workout routines, some recipe ideas, the nutrition plan I follow, and then some extra little tips that I use in my everyday life. This is actually a collaboration video with five other YouTubers, so I'm going to have all of their channels linked in the description box. Definitely go check out their videos and subscribe to their channels. They are great ladies and we're all giving a fresh perspective about what we do, so you'll definitely learn something in each video. So just to get started, I follow the Tone It Up nutrition plan, and if you've never heard of Tone It Up, then I'll go ahead and have it linked in the description box down below. But they have a ton of free content, recipes, workouts, and tips that you can check out. You can sign up for their newsletter and get all of that free content. I've been following Tone It Up since 2011. That's when I started signing up for the free content, and then I joined and bought the plan in 2012 when I was preparing for my wedding. And since I joined the plan, and since I joined Tone It Up in general, my life has changed 100% for the better. I just love everything about the Tone It Up community. There's this huge community of hundreds of thousands of women. You can go online and there's like chat rooms and forums and you can connect with everyone and it's just all about being positive and taking care of your body. So I just love that feeling because I used to get really stressed out about fitness and I was really hard on myself and now I see it as something fun and it should be fun to take care of your body and you should be happy to try and get yourself as healthy and happy as possible. The whole concept kind of behind Tone It Up is to eliminate artificial things from your diet like artificial flavorings and sweeteners, things like that. They also focus on whole foods, whole grains, lean proteins, green vegetables, things like that that just help your body perform its best and I just love the whole concept. Uh, I, as you guys know, I've talked a lot on my channel about my migraines and I find for me that this form of eating really helps eliminate or reduce the amount of migraines that I get. So that's kind of the biggest motivator I have to follow this type of, type of nutrition plan. But I definitely suggest that you talk to your doctor or a nutritionist before you start a new health or a nutrition plan just because they might be able to tell you what's best for your particular needs and goals. If you have any illnesses or concerns, then they can go through and tell you, you know, what might be best for you. I'm gonna share with you now two of my favorite recipes that I make on a pretty regular basis that fall into the Tone It Up plan. And the first one is a delicious, it could be a breakfast food or it could be a treat, and it's a protein cookie, super easy to make. The ingredients you need for this recipe are bananas, oats, and protein powder of your choice. I like to use a plant-based protein powder, so I use the Nutribiotic. I did a whole review on this Nutribiotic protein powder that I'll link somewhere here. And then you can add in things that you like. I like to add in sometimes dark chocolate or nuts, sometimes a nut butter like almond butter or peanut butter. You could add in chia or flax seeds. And it's super easy to make. I'm actually going to leave the entire recipe listed down below and also on my blog so it's a lot easier for you to see. These are so delicious. They taste very decadent. And you know, you could leave out the chocolate if you wanted to have it for breakfast. This would be great for a treat for your girlfriends, to take to a party. These are great if you're on the go, if you're a student, if you have a busy work life, or just for anyone who loves something delicious and healthy. So I love these. I make these about once every two weeks. I also have a couple of the recipes that I'll be sharing on my blog as well. I have like a top 10 list of recipes from the Tone It Up nutrition plan or that fit into the Tone It Up nutrition plan. If you'd like to see another recipe video showing those recipes, definitely let me know in the comment section because I just don't want to make this video too extremely long. So I could definitely share more recipes in a separate video if you like. The second recipe is good for lunch or dinner, and it's a really simple spaghetti squash spaghetti dish. I'm also gonna leave the recipe for that linked in the description box and on my blog as well. This is really simple to make, it is delicious. This is one of those things that if you're wanting to you know, replace pasta from your diet that you can use spaghetti squash and it tastes really good. You can top it with some cheese if you like. You could also add in your own protein, like lean ground turkey, lean ground beef, tofu, you could use those morning star crumbles, I love those. You could also add in chicken or any protein you like. You could add in a bunch more vegetables. It's really versatile so you can play it up however you like. Now I'm going to share with you my go-to workouts. Over the last year, I've really been trying to learn to love running and become a runner, and surprisingly, it has been pretty much a success. A year ago, I hated running. I did not want to run to the mailbox, let alone any number of miles. So what did I do? I signed up for a half marathon, and yeah, I set that goal to run a half marathon, and in June, I did it. I completed a half marathon, and I felt amazing, and it just kind of motivated me to keep running. 
Another thing that I had to change and that I think might be the reason that I didn't like running before is that I was wearing the wrong sports bra and I was also wearing the wrong type of shoes. I used to feel really weighed down and just like I had like lead in my feet. It just didn't feel good. It didn't feel like I glided at all. And so I decided to invest in a really good sports bra that really held the girls in there and it just made a huge difference. When I ran, I just felt like free. And I did the same with my shoes. These are my running shoes here. <clears throat> These are by Adidas. I don't know the exact style, but I can try. It says Adiprene. I can try and find the exact like style and model number for you. Uh, but when I was in high school, I wore Adidas shoes, and I remembered that gym class and my activities were a lot easier. And I don't know how, but I just tried a bunch of other shoes since then. So I decided to go back to Adidas, and this is a similar style to what I wore back in high school, and it still is working great. So I think it's really important to find a shoe that fits your foot type so that you feel like when you're running that you're gliding, that you're not feeling like really heavy. Because I used to feel like when I was hitting the pavement, that I was just like not moving, like I was running in quicksand or something. So these shoes have really helped me feel like a lot lighter and bouncier and my feet feel supported. So that is one recommendation I have if you would like to become a runner. My go-to workout for running is a 5K. I think it's pretty good. I just run one and a half miles down the road wherever I wanna go. Then I turn around and run one and a half miles and a little bit more back because a 5K is 3.1 miles. And that's a good amount of exercise. It's For me, that is 30 or more minutes of exercise. So I get my heartbeat up for 30 minutes. I feel good. I put on an awesome playlist. I'm going to uh, write out my playlist on my blog and then I'll leave that linked in the description box because of copyright. I can't like play any of the songs in this video, you know? But yeah, it's really important to get a really good playlist going so you're pumped and you're running and before you know it, it's 1.5 miles, you turn back and then you run the other way. Uh, when I was training for my half marathon, then I did a method where I like slowly increased my miles every week so that I wasn't putting a lot of pressure on my joints and on my body and before you know it, you're running 10 miles and then 13 miles. So I definitely want to sign up for another half marathon. That is a goal I have for 2016 is to run a half marathon, another one in spring or summer maybe. But for me, setting a goal and signing up for a race really helps me push myself and run that extra half mile or that extra mile. Um, I Sometimes I'll run like a 5K and then I'm not tired and I still want to keep going, so I'll run a little bit more. It just really depends on what I feel like. And I think that's something I've learned over the years is that exercise should make you happy. It shouldn't be something that you feel obligated to do and you're just doing just to get over with. I really have tried to like stay in the moment and really enjoy every minute of that. I do also have some go-to tone it up workouts that I love. I love their sun-kissed ab routine, which is on their YouTube channel as well. So I'm gonna link that down in the description box. And then they also have this like Easter bunny workout that I'm gonna link the uh, link to that in the description box as well. Another workout I am absolutely in love with is Pio. It's a class, it's a mix between Pilates and yoga. It's like the stretching and the strength training of Pilates and yoga and then the car there's a cardio aspect mixed into it. I have a friend Jenna who teaches a free class every week here in my city. She is amazing. She actually posts some of her workouts on her YouTube channel so I'll link that in the description box as well if you want to check it out. But I just feel like it gets you pumped up. It's fun. It's all women. There's like five of us who come and so there's no pressure if we don't do something right. But after I leave I just feel very like accomplished. I feel stronger. I feel like I really stretched my muscles and yeah I just love Pilates. So running, um, you know, strength exercises at home and Pio are my three top workout, my go-to workouts. I definitely recommend them. And if you have any questions about, you know, if you'd like to see a video about my whole half marathon progress, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to share that. So lastly, I'd like to share some kind of, you know, random tips and tricks I have for how I try to stay healthy and work on my fitness. The first thing is taking a vitamin. I take a multivitamin and then I also take a B12 vitamin. And I find that taking a B12 vitamin gives me so much more energy than I had before. Sometimes I would wake up feeling tired or just throughout the day, it just kind of, my energy would just trail off. And once I incorporated a, a B12 into my daily routine, I felt like I had so much more energy and it was natural energy. It wasn't like hyped up on caffeine energy because I can have a tendency to drink a little too much coffee. So instead of drinking a ton of coffee, B12 has helped me a lot. I also take, I've mentioned this in other videos, hyaluronic acid for my skin health. I have noticed a huge difference because I 
took this and then I ran out of it and then my skin went crazy. I was just getting breakouts, it was dry, it was just acting insane. So then I repurchased this and started taking it again and my skin has gotten so much better. So that tells me that this makes a big difference in my skin's health. So if you're having a breakout or your skin is super dry or you're, you know, just having problems in general, you might try hyaluronic acid, of course, talk to your doctor and see if that helps you as well. Another thing that I use that helps with hair, skin, and nails and also metabolism and uh, immune support is apple cider vinegar. Part of the Tone Up Nutrition Plan, they have two drinks. One is called the Bombshell Spell and one is called the Meta D, but they both have a key ingredient of apple cider vinegar, which you can just take a straight shot. Sometimes I do that. I just like take a straight shot of apple cider vinegar and it really revs up your metabolism. It helps support your immune system so you can fight off infection easier. This is a new bottle I have because I still have one downstairs that I'm finishing up and this one was just sitting right over here. So yeah, I love apple cider vinegar. Um, I also, like I said about eliminating artificial flavorings and sweeteners, I've changed to organic stevia. There's a lot of stevias on the market and I actually consulted a nutritionist about this because uh, I have a nutritionist friend who posted a link on Facebook saying like, stevia, <clears throat> you know, beware about stevia and I was like, what do you mean? A lot of companies will put in extra ingredients into their stevia so it's stevia and then something else that is actually an artificial ingredient. So that's kind of defeating the whole purpose of using stevia. So I have switched now to, I love sweet leaf stevia and I love this organic stevia. This is called One Organic. I actually got this to try off of Snag Shout, which is a place that you can get products for like reduced prices to review them on Amazon. I think I've talked about it before. I'll leave a link in the description box as well. But um, this one is like the purest stevia I've ever tried and you need just a tiniest amount. I put way too much in my coffee this morning and it was so sweet. So this container has 3,000 servings and I thought there, there's no way. So I put like a teaspoon in it. No, you really need like just a sprinkle because uh, stevia, pure stevia is that potent. So I have changing to stevia has really changed, really helped with my migraines. So I would definitely suggest that. That is how I take care of my health and fitness. I would love to hear how you take care of your health and fitness because I'm always looking for new ideas, new classes, new recipes to try. So definitely let me know in the comment section your thoughts. And if you want to see some other videos about some of the topics I touched on here, definitely let me know as well. Don't forget to check out and subscribe to the collaborators channels that are linked in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channels so you never miss any of my videos. I post new videos each and every week and I'm revamping my vlog, so that my blog, so that is going to be live soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.